Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad, and today we're working on headlight bezels. And I've laid out the, the whole headlight assembly so you can see what goes into it. And we start with these, uh, these LEDs here from our friends at LED Supply. No, they're not paying for this, but, uh, you know, um, they're good people. I like LED Supply. They're not far from me. So we've got these LEDs here. These are 3 watt um, LEDs. I forget the model name, um, but you can kind of see what they are right here. Lux drives. So how I get them to, to stick to this without any screws in is this thermal film. This is double sticky side, double sticky back, whatever you want to call it, uh, thermal film. And kind of works like a sticker it's kind of it's really fiddly to uh to get it on the back of the led uh pc board but uh, that's that's what you got to do for uh, for thermal conduction so that's what we do um so we uh use these basically stickers to uh stick these to the Uh, to the heat sinks that I have featured in a previous video making heat sinks for LEDs. So these are the LEDs all mounted and these right here these are connectors these are solderless connectors actually you shove the wire in uh, this hole right here and it's got, a, got contacts on, on the back side. So you don't have to solder to the LED and uh, potentially damage it or destroy it from uh, too much heat. Uh, because these these little uh, these little PC boards really really suck up a lot of heat. So we'll just put that together right there like that. Um, I've got this ring that holds the uh, lens so we'll, we'll stick the lens. This is a 30 degree lens. I'll just snap this together. This is a BJB holder. So that goes in there. That goes right in there. There. And now uh, before I attach these and snap them together I will put these screws in. So now I'll snap these lenses in. They just snap in like Legos. And so that's an assembly ready for the bezel. And then we just pop the bezel on like this. And I put the screws to it. The screws hold it together. This is what holds the bezel and the heat sink together. Oops, it went a little tight on that one right there. Procedure is to put the middle screws in first and then tighten the outside ones.
Oh. There's one that's a flathead. Didn't expect that. So there is one LED bezel, LED headlight assembly. There we go. That's there's one that's already painted. This one's for uh, Millbrook seventy one when I finally get it when I finally get a new seventy one built. Now the reason I started making these is because I wanted to bring more of my processes in house, and with the three D printer I could get a more consistent headlight bezel, something to fit the the um, heat sink here a little better because the uh, the brass ones I was using didn't quite fit this heat sink. Um, the uh, the bosses on the the ends were just a little bit too far out, and I couldn't get a heat sink that that could fit it. And when I'm talking distance, it's probably about thirty thousandths of an inch off each end um, longer. I, I pulled these bosses in. Um, when I, uh, designed these headlights, and these right here are basically what you might call factory seconds, because, uh, they didn't print right, right here on the corner, so these, these are for one of my own projects, um, but I found when I was, uh, doing the design, designing them from... EMD headlight bezels. Um, taking a look at pictures and stuff, I was able to get more detail um, in the 3D print than um, than I got from the the brass parts that I used to buy. So that's why we're printing these, and as you can see, we're. We're printing headlights, and we're, we're also pl printing the uh, the headlight mounting plate at the same time. This is a pair of headlight bezels and a pair of headlight bezel mounting plates. Actually, it's the headlight assembly mounting plate. So whatever color resin I have is whatever color they come out. Um, this one here has been painted. And the black one here was using black resin. Um, you can use light gray resin, dark gray. Whatever color you think is a good base color, and I just paint them up anyway, as you can see with the uh, the green one, or the yellow one. I've got a green one too, but this is a yellow one, obviously, if you can tell your colors. Um, and the detail just, just came out nice, I thought, so I thought I'd start putting them together. These are uh, 20 millimeter LEDs, by the way, I didn't mention that before. Uh, 20, uh, 20 millimeter LEDs and uh, lenses and holders and just uh, it just came out nice. So watch the Millbrook Railroad website. I may start offering these like this as full assemblies for sale at some point. Not sure exactly when. Uh, I've got to build up an inventory of them first, but uh, once I build up an inventory of uh, Maybe uh, 10 pair or something like that. I'll, I'll uh, put them up on the website. And by pair, I mean this is a single. This is a pair. This is for Shady Pines 17. Which I have to install on it at some point. So, thanks for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, it's kind of, a, kind of a subdued video, I guess you could say. Um, kind of in the middle of a, of a ton of things, but I thought I'd show you this long-awaited headlight bezel video of our 3D printed headlight bezels. Join us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. You can go to millbrookrailroad.com for information about uh, the railroad and about the locomotives that we offer. 
Uh, we do sell locomotives and headlights come with them. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up, share, subscribe, join us as a, uh, join the channel as a member or again, patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. Thanks for watching.